Good morning everyone. I hope everyone is safe and happy. So today we are going to revise the topic nouns. So noun means name of a person, place, animal or a thing. It also includes quality. Here quality means justice, courage, an idea of freedom, state of feeling. Now let's see some examples. Ria is going to read some books in library. So here Ria is the name of a person, books, thing and library is a place. She will accept her defeat. So here defeat is a quality. I saw a horse in my garden. Here horse is an animal and garden is a place. Now let's revise different kinds of nouns. First we have proper noun. Proper noun means when we give a particular or specific name to any person, place, animal, thing, institution, organization, days of week or months. And proper noun always begin with capital letters. Next we have common noun. When we do not give a particular name, that means it belongs to a journal category. Next, collective noun. Name of a group or collection of persons or things counted as one. For example, I will join the Indian army. So in army, so many soldiers are there. So army is counted as one. So army is a collective noun. Next, material noun. It refers to a material or substance from which things are made. For example, I am wearing cotton clothes. So my clothes are made up of cotton. So cotton is a material noun. And last we have abstract noun. Abstract noun means quality, feeling or action that you cannot see ear, touch, smell or taste. For example, they laughed at my idea. So here, idea is an abstract noun. Now let's do some exercise. Question one, number one. Underline the nouns and state their kind. First, a herd of deer lived in the forest. So here, herd is a collective noun. Deer, common noun, because specific name of deer is not mentioned. And forest is also a common noun, because specific name is not mentioned. Second, Asha visited London with her mother. So, Asha is the name of a person. So, it is a proper noun. London, name of a place. So, proper noun. And mother, specific name is not mentioned. So, it is a common noun. Number third, the soldiers were rewarded for their bravery. So, specific name of soldiers is not mentioned. So, it is a common noun. And bravery is an abstract noun. Last, the bangle is made up of silver. So, silver is the material used for making bangle. So, silver is a material noun and bangle is a common noun because specific name of bangle is not given. Question number two. Fill in the blanks with suitable nouns. Now, I am going to read the paragraph first. Grandpa has a big dash in dash. There are dash trees in his farmhouse. So we are talking about grandpa's farmhouse. So grandpa has a big farmhouse in dash. So you can name here any place. So I'll be writing here India. Grandpa has a big farmhouse in India. There are dash trees in his farmhouse. So let's find out which tree is there. One day he saw a dash of boys near the banana tree. So it is a banana tree. There are banana trees in his farmhouse. 
One day he saw a group of boys near the banana tree. So group here is a collective noun. Dash thought boys were hungry and they wanted to eat dash. So we are talking here about grandpa's farmhouse. So grandpa thought boys were hungry and they wanted to eat bananas. He offered a dash of bananas and some snacks in a dash box to the boys. He offered a dozen of bananas. So with bananas we use dozen. So dozen here is a collective noun. And some snacks in a, so you can write a wooden or plastic box. So wooden or plastic, is it is a material noun. All the boys ate with delight. Thank you everyone. I hope you enjoyed today's video.